Yeah. Hello, welcome to my channel. Trust you're doing great. Um, today I'm going to show you how to create mockups, turn designs like this into this, this, and this. Yeah, it's very easy. Actually, don't get scared. Um, we're going to be doing the first two on Figma, then we'll move to Photoshop. If you know how to use Photoshop or if you have Photoshop on your system, it's um, another advantage um when you're trying to create mockups so first there's a mock is a mockup uh, plugin called mockup you go to plugin in your menu bar and search for it i have it already you can click on find more plugins and search mock up so they're going to present a lot of options to you we have clear mockups 3d we have art studios we have angle mockups and mockup mirror a lot of mockup plugins so all you need to do is um Pick anyone and run it. So what I have currently is mockup. I'll open the, the library here. Um, so some of the mockups are free, while some you need to pay for them. So um, the free ones are actually good. Um, so I'll show you using one of the mockups how this works. Um, they will show you a list of mockups. So I clicked on the first one, and here that is free. And what you need to look out for is this plus button. So this is where you're going to be adding your screen. There are some other mockups there that allows you to upload two screens, three screens and all of that. But I'm using this for example. You click on the plus, then they're going to tell you choose one layer um, uh, you want to place there basically. So you're going to come out here, select any layer of your choice. Once you do that, um, your design will be placed on the mockup to crop it. Yeah, but now we place on the mockup. So that is how it is on. Then you paste whatever you if you are if you're okay with the results, you just paste uh, in canvas. And once that is done, um they will help you place your result on your screen. So um it is now left for you to maybe add a background based on whatever color um that would make sense. Um for example, I like to use the primary color for my design or secondary color. Um, as background so that it matches the mobile app I'm designing. So that is one way to get mockups done. Um, the second way is um, to get images on our um, Figma uh, community and um, mockup images and replace their images with yours. So I'll show you an example quickly. Um, let me place this aside. Go to Figma community. Uh, in case you don't know how to do that, go back home, click on this arrow where you have your email. Then below it, you're going to see community. Once you do that, you can search for mock up. So you're going to see lots of images, some um, laptop mock ups, MacBook mock ups, mobile phone mock ups, and all of that. Um, in my case here, I have one mock up I like, so I had to open it. So once you see anyone you like, you just click open in Figma and you have it on your Figma board like this. So um, this is what you see. Then you go to where the mock up is. For example, this is where the mockup is. I want to put my design on this mobile phone. So um, I'll advise you first, you export your screen as JPEG. Let me show you how that is done. So these are my four designs. Um, you select all four, select all four, and uh, come down here. Now I export as PNG. So one thing I realize is some people like to, um, or not by, not really like some people by default, they don't realize that this times one can be altered. You can change this. This times one is going to be a low quality design, trust me, when you do that. That's why some of your designs look um, pixelated when you're trying to post them online. It looks like, ah, my design is clearer than this, why is it looking this way? So to get a good and uh, a higher definition of your design, a better version of your design, choose times three or times four. That's my advice. Choose times three or times four, then export all four of them. Um, once you do that, it's going to take a little time okay so you save it so we place it thank you so the four designs i've saved are good quality designs and um because i saved them um times three of the original size so they will come out really better so you come back to uh the images you got from um the community for example i like this mobile phone so what i would do is i'm going to pick my um my saved 
my exported images, sorry. I'm gonna paste them here. I'm gonna paste them here. I'll show you how I'm gonna be able to replace these uh, images with uh, my design. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna double click on this image, make sure it is selected. Then I'm gonna right click on it and paste to replace. Once I do that, it replaces the image and um, I'll do the same with the first screen. I'm gonna copy this and um, make sure I select the image properly. Once that is done, paste to replace. We can adjust. So, um, sorry, I was supposed to use this here. Mm -hmm. Paste to replace. So what, we, what I've successfully done is I, I've been able to put my uh, screens uh, into someone else's mock-up, into someone else's image. These are also mock-ups. So what makes them look really nice is um, you present them on a nice colored frame. So you can put out a frame around it. All right. I'll give it a shade of purple that is light. It's a choice if you are if you're okay with a darker shade of purple, it's it's good, it's fine. You can make it gradient if you want, if you want to um, give it more beauty. The idea is don't make it um, shout. There's a way your corners will shout and it's gonna make your design look quite unprofessional. So give it a blend of white and some other color. It can be radial, it can be angular, anyhow you want it to be. So this is supposed to be my white. And this is gonna be my All right, so once you're done with this, um, make your images larger. The idea is for people to be able to see your design and appreciate it. So try to make your, um, your design screens, make them look uh, bigger and properly centralized. So that is the second method. First method is use a plugin. Second method is um, download mock-up images from the community. All right, so once you're done um, placing your designs on a background you're satisfied with um, you can then go ahead to export um, and I, like I said earlier when you're exporting um, don't export times one always make sure you check that now um, export maybe times three or times four because I don't even trust times two like that so what that that does is it just makes your design come out better and um, gives it um, a better quality than it would be if it was only times one so the, the third method I have now is um, using um, the website called freepick.com. Freepick.com is a resource um, site. They have lots of resources aside, mockups. They have a lot of other things. They have images. Um, they have amazing illustrations as well. So this is where you can get your mockup if you know how to use Photoshop or you have Photoshop and you're not satisfied with what um, Figma presents to you. They have lots of amazing designs there. Um, this, these ones with the crowns are premium. They are paid like you have to pay before you can assess them. So I'm going to use this first one, for example. So this is um, it. So look out for designs that are PSD, Photoshop designs. It will be written here, file type, PSD. So once you see any one you like, as soon as you've signed up, you'll be able to download. So once you click on download, um, you click on free download and I think they let you download 10 free resources daily free resources so you can download only 10 times so it's one that I need MB and um, so when you're done downloading um, you go to Photoshop and you open that file uh, once you open the design file it will show you something like this and um, it's so simple to edit. 
it's so simple to edit. All you need to do is come to your layers here, uh, your layers panel, and just pick um, mm -hmm. where you have the graphic image. This is smart object here. Where you have this this symbol, where you have this icon. So once you when you, once you double click on it, it opens um, a smart object for you. So what you're trying to do now is try to re replace this design with your design. All right, so I have my design open here. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be placing my design here. Um, yes, proceed. So I'm going to make it the uh, same size as the design that is going to be there. Fit it perfectly, then take it. Once you do that, just press Ctrl S, which means you're saving it. I wanted to update that particular design with my image in it this time. So once you do that, you have your image mocked up on this lovely iPhone. So, um, this is so simple, like I told you, it didn't take me up to one minute or two minutes to find my way around Photoshop doing this. All right, so once you're done um, working it up on, on Photoshop, what you need to do next is save. So you go to file, you save as, or use export. Save for web. Um, Save as JPEG, review, and then uh, you can now save your image. All right, so that's how it is done. So, um, if you have Photoshop, you can always use Photoshop. If you see amazing mockups you like on freepick.com, they have they have lots of beautiful mockups. Trust me, they have lots of beautiful mockups. So, all you need to do is look for the free ones. If you cannot pay for premium, look for free ones and download them then replace their screens with yours once you do that you have an amazing design in front of you um thank you very much for watching have a lovely day